Hi right, guys, welcome back to uh, Keys the Grills. Uh, today we are going to be doing chicken wings. And do you know what the best thing about chicken wings is? We get to use this little fucker here. You know what I mean? Don't often get this bad boy out, but it is nice when you get to use it. And uh, some people of my age out there will probably know this, but this is one of the most classic films that you've ever seen. One of classic British films, I should say. And uh, if you want to leave your little uh, notes in the, uh, in, well, I don't know what you'd leave in. Well, just leave a little comment saying if you know what this film is. So, are you ready? All right? Oi, where's your fucking tool? What fucking tool? That fucking tool. You know what I mean? <laughs> There's only a certain amount of people in this world who know who that is. But I've got to like, yeah, it's a classic, absolute fucking classic. So all we're going to do is we're going to get the chicken rings like this. We are going to place these in there and we're going to cut them in half. Do you know what I mean? Find where the knuckle is, see if you can get that right in. And bosh, job is a good one. Two for the price of one. People, some people like to have them leave them like that. I don't. No, it's not my cup of tea at all. I like to split them in half and make them as two for the price of one. So basically, it's a portion of eight chicken wings. I buy them in big packs, I break them up. You get 16 chicken wings, you do it this way. Me and my boy, I do love a chicken wing. That I mean, do love a chicken wing. Look at that, fucking have it, son. Fucking have it, that's what we're talking about. All you're going to do is just chop these out. There's li very little you've got to do as far as these concerns prep goes. And as you well know, as I've explained to you before, I like to marinate for the whole night. Do you know what I mean? So these will literally go in here. We will add some seasoning, which I'll show you which one I'm using today. And um, then they'll sit in the fridge for the whole night. And then we will be cooking them on the jotisserie. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with that, you will get to see that tomorrow. But um, bottom line is, it literally just spins around, you put your chicken wings in it, bosh, over an open flame, absolutely fucking beautiful. And then what I will do in them is add in a homemade barbecue sauce to them, which um, turns out works really well. Job to do. Nearly there, guys. Like I say, very little effort. The only thing that I say I do like to do is just make sure that all my prep is done. So there's been many a time when you can have I don't know, 10, 15 people over. And, and I don't know about you, but there's nothing better. Well, not nothing better. Fucking let's be honest. I can think of a lot better things. But the, there's nothing better when you are when you prepare food for someone and someone does a big old smile like that. Fucking hell, that is nice. Or when you hand something to someone and they go, oh, mate. That is, do you know what? You can't fault it. You literally can't fault it. And this is a tried and tested method. So, all you do, have a stab at it. If you don't like it, send me a comment, say, Anne, that was shit. Didn't think a lot of that, mate. Do you know what I mean? Or Anne, fucking hell, that was handsome. One or the other, it's best to know. All I can do is show you what, what works for me, and you can decide whether or not it works for you. So, today, we are using Angel's Wings barbecue seasoning. Literally, it's a poultry one. I've, uh, I bought a set, this came in it, tried it once, actually really like it. Not gonna fuck about it a bit, I'm literally just gonna sprinkle it all in here. You know, I like to have a healthy coat because it's gonna sit there all night. Give it a nice good mix up in the bowl. Add some more. You know, this is, it's like in here, this is all personal preference, isn't it? If you like it really, really strong flavor, put loads and loads in it. If you don't, just put less in it. It ain't fucking rocket science, do you know what I mean? We ain't been reinventing the wheel here, let's be honest. Do you know what I mean? It's about personal preference, about personal taste. You know, I look at that and I think, well, do you know what? I think I know a bit more. So, do you know what I do? I'll put a bit fucking in there, you know? Nobody's gonna tell me I can't put more in there because I'm gonna swap and cook That's one of the jobs. In fact, this is the only time in my life that I get to choose whatever I want to do. <laughs> I'm sure many men out there will fucking agree with what I've just said. Anyway, give me a little stir around. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. And guess what else we're going to do? Yes, you guessed it. We're going to put them in a Ziploc type bag. I should take out fucking shares of this company, I swear to God. Because I'm tell you something, me and these fellas, oh, we're like fucking blood brothers, mate. We're literally like blood brothers. Anyway, so all we're going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to take this chicken, we're going to chuck them straight in there. Job's paid, fucking good. And that is it. Your prep is done. Nothing else to worry about. Leave them there for a the whole night. They're going to get covered in nice little fucking 
Oh, no, do you know what? Actually, that's not totally true. I'll tell you what, sometimes I do is I put them in the fridge, and then every time I put them in the fridge, you now get a milk out, make a cup of tea, or whatever, I always give them a little bit of a mix up. You know, just give them a little bit of stir, blah, 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 blah. Yeah? Let's make it look like it's, let's make it look like it's Oh, here comes the fucking rain. Gotta love the British weather. <coughs> Guys, that's me done for tonight. I will see you in the morning. Hi guys, I'm telling you what now, we are literally gonna do the chicken wings, you know, the ones that I uh, uh, marinated the other day. But just look at the way I've set these coals up. And one thing I've learned massively, if you do not set these coals up when you're gonna rotisserie to one side, man, it comes burnt, burnt you in the arse. I got fucked up massively. I put a fillet of beef on here. I thought, do you know what? This doesn't make any fucking difference. I'll just spread the coals out, blah, blah, blah. You know, but it just cooked the beef so quickly and it was just like uh, crisp on the outside and raw on the inside. So, Hi guys, do you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been to watch the rugby and um, Welsh lost massively. Uh, my wife is Irish, so I have to support the Irish. But um, the bottom line is I've come back to cook the chicken wings. They've been out, they've been marinating for 24 hours now. So what we're gonna do is gonna chuck them into this. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you, um, Commander Joe has smashed it out of the park with his bad boy because they didn't have, um, you know, a, 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 a Commander Joe specific product for rotisserie chicken wings. And then they brought this out. And the best bit about it is that the whole thing breaks down, you can put it in the dishwasher. Whereas the others, you know, you'd be scrubbing for fucking ages. You'd never get it right. It'd always be some kind of crap left after you wasn't, wasn't even done. So we're going to put the chicken wings in. Job done, and then what we're going to do is we're going to add them to the old uh, Commander Joe over here. As I said to you earlier with the previous video, side ramp your coals. If you don't side ramp your coals, what will happen is that you get their crisp too quickly. So if you imagine these are twisting over, okay, and all there's a flame under all of it, okay. Imagine how quick they're going to cook, which means you've got to run a risk of them not cooking internally. So if you've got it on a side wrap, what will happen is that they turn over. You know, it gives a little bit of breathing space, come back again, and the process takes a little bit more time. I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, they work out so much nicer. Okay. And then we're gonna press the button. We're gonna leave them be. Now, I normally aim at about 350. You don't want it to go fucking mental, let's be honest, because otherwise what will happen is they'll burn up crispy. So I reckon, you know, uh, we'll turn this around so you can see it. Watch out, that's warm. All right, you can see that. I normally about, that's about an inch there. And then downstairs, I'm oh, about two fingers, okay? Two fingers, and that is what I leave, Matt. Obviously, I've got to come back and check. I'd say they're going to take about 35 to 40 minutes, depending on how fierce that flame can be, okay? But I guarantee you this that they will be crispy. And then what after this is done, I'm gonna add my own personal barbecue sauce. I mean, fucking seriously. No, I mean, if you're a chicken wing fan, I mean, that's like a wet dream, isn't it? Look at them, they are sizzling. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna stop them turning. It's almost like, it's, it's like food porn. I don't even wanna stop them turning. I mean, fucking hell. Sex on legs, guys. Sex on legs. Welcome back, guys. It's that time. The chicken is ready. We've hit 160 on the chicken. In real terms, you get away about 155. Personally, I like crispy skin, so I'm going to go 160. So we're going to press the stop over here. And then what we're going to do is we are going to add a homemade barbecue sauce. Now, I appreciate the fact that I haven't shown you what the barbecue sauce is, but I will show you this another episode because it is my own personal barbecue sauce. I'm going to shut this down, we're going to close this up, and we're going to save the coal. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this chicken out of here and we're going to put it into a bowl and then we are going to add the homemade barbecue sauce. Now I promise you this much, right? one thing I will definitely say to you is that when any one of your friends tries these wings, they are going to be very happy. So now what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to take this homemade barbecue sauce, I reckon do you know what I'll tell you I'm going to go with? I'm going to go with five spoonfuls. And the reason I'm going to go with five is the fact that it is so tasty that you really don't want to fucking not miss out on it. Are you ready? Four and five. All right. And then you're going to take all your wings in the bowl and just give them a little bit of a forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. 
That's all you're doing. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Oh, look at that. Seriously, and that was only just the beginning. When I stay with this to the end, look at that. Everything is gonna get coated. I haven't spilled a single drop in there. It's steaming. Now, here's the plan. I want you to pick your best part of the wing. Me, I'm a drumlet. I like this part, and they are hot. <sighs> Fuck me, that is hot. Take a little piece of praise out. Look at that, see a little bit on the end there. Oh, fucking hell. I'm serious now. Oh, look in there. Can you see in there? Can you see the steam coming off of this? Now I'm having to judge, I'm having to swap hands at the moment because it's so fucking off. But I'm telling you right now, that is amazing. Jotisserie, my own barbecue sauce, chicken wing, the flavoring that I showed you before, you're on a winner. I'd like to say to you, nobody's going to be upset if you produce this for them. I'll see you soon.